How would you rate the pain on a scale of zero to 10? It's like a, like a six or a seven, um, but it came on all of a sudden. Can you point to where it hurts? Um, it... Okay, we may have to send you in the ambulance to the hospital. Can you lay back for me, please? Does that hurt when I let go? No more than before you let go. Oh, that's good. Is Dr. Finer working today? He is. He's doing pediatric cases today, though. Could I have him as my doctor? I've worked with him before. Not unless you got a sick kid. Dr. Miller will be him. I'm sorry. Are you listening to something? Yeah, it's talk radio. All right, for once in your life, can you just do your job? You know, it's funny. I'm doing your annual review, and I've only been here six months. God, I must be doing something right. Yeah. How does that make you feel? It doesn't make me feel anything. No, I don't believe that. It doesn't. See? You're angry. I should have been a psychologist. I guess a boss kind of is a psychologist in a way. You're not my therapist. I didn't say therapist, I said psychologist. They're two very different things. You don't know a lot, do you? I know plenty. Give yourself a satisfactory for attendance. Wait, but I, I was sick one time. But you called out three. Yeah, because the sitter was sick. God, you sound like a woman. You look like How is that my problem? Oh, damn. What? Mayor Dennings got a DUI yesterday. Dennings. You remember that guy? He's come by the high school, slept with the principal. Yeah, but he's married. Well, yeah, he was a drunk womanizer. You know, I've, I've never understood why successful people drink. You'd think you'd just want to, like, womanize. It's probably the guilt. Guilt is for losers. Oh, God, the guy is running for re-election in two weeks. Uncontested. What a douchey bastard. Okay. Um, anyway, what should I put down for my score? What do you think you should get? Exceptional. Hmm. Above average. There you go. I think this might be the one. Damn! Jen's having my baby. Maybe. Maybe if I took my sperm and Jen's egg 
and shoved it up Jane and swished it around. God damn it, I should have been an astrologist. If a sick kid is the only thing stopping me from seeing Chris, then it looks like I gotta find myself a sick kid. Oh, hey, Jen. Ron's not here, actually. Oh, okay. That's, uh, that's too bad. Um, so, uh, how, how are you? How's the babysitting going? It's going pretty good. She seems pretty content. Where is she? Can I see her? Sure, she's uh, just downstairs watching some TV, cartoons or something. She's got her goldfish and all that stuff. Probably not on some of the plastic toys, too. But, uh, yeah, she seemed pretty set up, you know. Basic. Hi, honey. How are you? I'm so sorry, honey. I don't know where these have been. Well, except on me. <laughs> oh! Oh no! D does she have a cold? She seemed fine all day. Oh, she feels like she has a fever. Uh, do you have a thermometer? I'll check. Thanks. Um, how about, how about tissues? Oh my God, she has a fever of 103. Well, what should we do? We gotta get her to the hospital. Oh man, I've never done this before. What do I do? Get her, put her in my car, and I'll take us. We're gonna get her. Huge. I don't understand. She was fine this morning. Who's that? Okay, I'll meet you at the hospital. Right, we gotta go. Field trip. I don't even think she's sick anymore. She doesn't even have a temperature. Well, you can't be too careful. We're here. You should at least have the doctor look at her. Hi, sweetie. How are you? I feel like I got a fever. She doesn't yeah. have a fever. She was 103 at home. Well, maybe the fever broke. And what are you doing in my house anyway? I just wanted to see the baby. Hey, Amy. How's it going? Good, how are you? Great. I, um, I just got a promotion at work. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. How's college? Oh, it's great. I just switched majors to uh, women's studies. Oh, that's a good major. Yeah, a lot of jobs. You know Justin's a woman now? What? Thanks, Bobby. You know, I always felt kind of trapped in a man's body. Well, that's awesome. Good for you. Yeah. You know, I'd actually really like to talk to you about it because I'm actually taking a course in transgenderism. Yeah, sure. We should, you know, we should like meet up, get coffee. That sounds good Girl to me. Girl talk. Yeah. Hey, everyone. So how is she? She seems all right. We're just waiting on the doctor. When is he gonna get here already? What the hell are you doing here, hot nuts? I came with Bobby. Hello, everybody. This is Jane. Hi, Jane. Hi. That's Jen, my ex, the one I told you was uh, pregnant with my baby. Maybe. Hi. I don't think it's his. We'll do a DNA test. I'm pretty sure it's mine. I used to donate sperm. I practically filled that sperm bank with my bare hands. Well, thanks for coming, Ron. Nice to meet you all. I'm glad the baby's doing better. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be in the car. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi, Jen. How are you? Hey, Doc. I'm not sure what's wrong. She had a fever, but I think it broke. Sure. Well, just let me listen to her breathe. Listen to her heartbeat really quick. <gasps> Hello.
I always carry a butterfly duck. Here you go. Um, so she sounds okay. Um, what I would like you to do is go ahead and take her home for now and check her temperature every few hours over the course of the next couple of days. And if her fever spikes at all, just go ahead and bring her right back in immediately and I'll run some cultures. Sounds good, Doc. What kind of culture are we talking about? Um, just a blood test. Wow. So you can find out culture through a blood test? Huh, that explains a lot. Thanks, Doc, that's, that's real neat. Busy today? Uh, yeah, 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 Sh sorry. So are, how are you feeling? Are, are you feeling better than you were earlier today? A little. My, my stomach, it's just, it's just a lot of pain that, that comes and goes. So you were here earlier today? I had some terrible pain. Hmm. Hey, Justin, re remember me? We, we were in high school together. We actually had a couple of classes together. Yeah, you know, I don't remember you, but Jen told me that. I'm, I'm good. I uh, moved back from New York City, and uh, I am running for mayor. Well, we're not. Oh, really? Yeah, well, the, the mayor got caught in a DWI, and he's a drunk, and he's a womanizer, and it's a small town. People know my name, so I figured I'd run. Well, congratulations. I'm, I'm really glad you're doing well. Thanks. And plus, he's a woman now. Excuse me? Yeah, you know, I mean, I've always felt kind of trapped in a man's body, albeit a pretty healthy man's body, but still, it's like a prison. Okay, well, good. I'm glad you were able to express yourself. Oh my God, do you have a boyfriend? Because I have a super hot professor that I could totally hook you up with. Actually, I'm a lesbian now. Yeah, I was in an abusive relationship with this real jerk of a guy. Hashtag me too. But uh, I broke it off, and now it's just women. So, Doc, are we good to go? Yeah, you guys are fine. I'll go ahead and have the nurse bring the discharge paperwork, and you guys can go ahead and take off. Hey, uh, Doc, let me, let me walk you out. I'll come with you guys. I got something to ask you, Doc. It's pretty important. Does the hospital do penis enlargements? You understand that this is not a hospital, and what you are thinking of is a plastic surgeon. Oh, no, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about, I'm talking about hot nuts. Justin, Justine, whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, would insurance cover this kind of procedure? No. Well, well, no. I mean, I mean, not under most circumstances. But I guess if he is is going through the transition, then 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 maybe. Huh. What do you think about penis enlargement pills? What? Well, y y you mean like horny goat weed? <clears throat> Doc. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not into animals. No, I don't. That's fucked up. You're fucked up. I gotta run. I'm sorry about Ron. He, um, he has some issues. He's an investment banker. Oh, uh, that didn't work out. Um, do you want to get some coffee? Uh, it seems really quiet here. No, I have to stay here and work till morning. Oh, um, well, in, in the morning then, I, I can meet you for breakfast. No, I, I have to catch up on my sleep. You and I will catch up, I promise. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I gotta get you home. You gotta get back to work. No, I got a sick child I have to take care of. My car only fits two, so you're gonna have to drive the baby home. I'll give Amy here a ride. Thank you. Yeah. You're in an urgent care in the middle of the night for nothing? It says here that you, you have something lodged in your vagina? Aren't you gonna use gloves? I'm not talking about my vagina. I'm talking about our wedding. Do you remember Wanda? I met Wanda probably a week or so before the wedding. You got it. Nice work, Doc. See, I told you I didn't come in yet. He works really long hours. If he works long hours, then he's off for long hours. If he doesn't have time to talk to you, it's because he doesn't want to. 
No, that's not it. It's just he's always Yes, in that is it. Move on. Don't move back into that mess. <sighs> I had to figure out a way to get back to the hospital. It's not my finest moment, but had to be done. Hi, Jen? Yeah? My name is Eugene. I work with Mobile Mental Health. Have you heard of us? No. I, I thought I was going to see Dr. Finer. I, I, I broke my finger. Yeah, uh, they asked me to look at you. The x-ray shows it's broken. Have you ever tried to hurt yourself before? Tried? No. I see here you have been to urgent care. Oh, let me see. Six times this month. Um, try more like three. No, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at your record. I have to ask you, has anything been causing you any anxiety or stress lately? Just the stomach pain that I've been having that so far no one has been able to help me with. Okay. I sense that you are not being really honest with me. Why would I want to hurt myself? That's crazy. Just check my finger and I will leave, thank you. I want to talk to Chris. Dr. Finer is busy. I am here to offer you services for your mental health and your anxiety and your stress disorder. I am not struggling with anything. I am fine. I hurt my hand. Sit down, young lady. How? How did you hurt your hand? I had it in the car door and I closed it by accident. Which door? Show me. Show me which door. I can't. Oh, I'm leaving! A, a oh. little help here, please. You're gonna spend a nice what? few days in a no. nice restful place. Let me go. I need a little help here and a lot Wait, of help. No. Chris!